And now, Living Well with LDS Hospital. March is National Nutrition Month, and today we have Ali Spencer here from LDS Hospital, and we're talking about food today, and sometimes we have pretty unhealthy habits with that. So. Yes, <laughs> so the theme this year is savor the flavor of eating right, mm -hmm. and I think it is so important for people to focus on savoring the flavor, whether it's foods that are maybe a guilty pleasure or foods that are healthy for us, that when we really focus on the flavor, uh, see, this is what I get caught doing. We just talked about binge watching television, so yes. I'll be sitting there watching <laughs> Grey's Anatomy or Scandal, and I'm eating the potato chips, and you're mindlessly I'm not. eating. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, you're mindlessly eating, and so that's one of the biggest barriers to to enjoying and savoring your food. Is how do you know if you're enjoying your food if you are watching TV? So you're saying we shouldn't eat while we're watching TV ever, or if it was up to me, I would say never <laughs> eat while you watch TV. Oh, but no. <laughs> but if you're gonna do it, focus on the food maybe mm -hmm. what you do is you eat during commercial breaks so that you're not just okay going when for you're it. talking about focusing on the food then you've you've got some food here I do yes I, I'm focused on it because I see chocolate and I see raspberries two of my very favorite things on the planet so what would you suggest when eating foods like this well so anytime you do a food is if you are going you know so one of the other barriers is eating too quickly right mm -hmm. is that we're not focused or we're eating too quickly and so one of the things I recommend to savor the flavor is try slowing down and not chewing while you eat okay so as chocolate you asked me just a minute ago how I eat chocolate yes how I should I be eating chocolate well very slowly so I recommend to people if you take a piece of chocolate and actually put it in your mouth and don't chew at all uh -huh. you can recognize you've find so many more flavors and it tastes so much better and you're gonna feel more satisfied by that than if you were just to eat it really quickly. So you sort of just suck on it and let it simmer in your, yes. on your tongue. I like that. Same with raspberries though? Same with raspberries. How would you suck on a raspberry? I'm not quite sure. I, I so understand maybe, that. Maybe you wouldn't be able to suck on it entirely but chew it mm -hmm. slowly, but you could suck on it and it is gonna dissolve. We have natural enzymes in our mouth that start breaking sugars down, but you would get that same feel from raspberries or other berries or any type of food is when you slow down and and chew more slowly and really focus on the flavors, it's gonna help bring mm -hmm. them out. But raspberries, they're such a good food and maybe people could make the argument that, oh, I can watch TV and eat my carrots and my broccoli, and which, let's face it, not many of us are doing that. But is that, is that something that you would recommend? Are you talking about eating all types of foods or just the junk type foods? I'm all for savoring every type of food that you mm -hmm. eat. Because part of having a healthy relationship with food, having, um, you know, maintaining your weight is enjoying your food and focusing on your food. So when we're not focused on our food or we're not thinking about it, all of a sudden it becomes this extra thing that's not important. You know, and so even if you are, yes, eating something like carrots or celery sticks, yes. no, it's not going to have a lot of calories and may not be um, as detrimental on your waistline. But if you're not paying attention to eating celery and carrots, are you enjoying them? Right. Uh, no, we're really not. And if you're sitting in bed watching your television and binge eating at the same time, I mean, what does that do to, to your weight? Uh, doesn't that just make you feel really lethargic? It definitely can. You know, so one of the hard things is if you're not paying attention to what you're eating is you never get this opportunity to really feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've ever been in that situation where you're distracted while you're eating and you've eaten something and you look down and you think, who ate all this? Where did half of this bag go? Right. Was somebody else here? Um, that can be really damaging on the psyche, but then we never feel physically satisfied. And so as a result, you'll eat something like that and instead of saying, oh wow, I just ate a lot of food, it's like, hmm, I kind of mm -hmm. feel like snacking still, and you're more likely to go and snack some And more. I notice that as well, when you're sitting down to a family dinner and you're eating more slowly and you're involved in conversation, that you do start to feel fuller more quickly. So you're not, you know, sitting there for hours on end just eating. Yes, definitely. That's great, I love it. All right, so remember, this month especially, let's make a new habit, savor the flavor, and then we won't have to worry about our waistlines as much, isn't it? It's that simple. We don't have to do anything hard. No. Right, Allie? No. It's easy. Eat chocolate. Just suck on it. <laughs> Just don't worry about chewing it. There you go.